The goals were amazing today. I pledge allegiance to the card of this 82 informed Christian Pulisic. And though the upgrade is not enough, he's in her account and he is a mad lad with a nice pace upgrade and shooting stats, I stand. I, I don't, I don't know. I, sometimes I just don't know. What's up, Ning boys, and welcome to the 82-rated Inform Christian Pulisic, the long-awaited, finally, Captain America Inform card that we get in Team of the Week 7 or 8. I'm not sure which one it is. It's a fairly weak Team of the Week. Uh, we have, fairly weak Team of the Week. Oh my god! I, I don't, I don't know. We have that 90 Mbappe, we've got that Fabingo, and then also this Pulisic. Those are the headliners, if I'm not mistaken. There's one more guy that I'm probably forgetting. Uh, Ilicic, the long shot king of FIFA 15, but uh, outside of that, nothing to write home about. Now, we do have Chinese Super League League uh, SBCs that just came out, and it is Edder, and then it is some other guy, but I feel like Edder's the choice because he does have the five-star skill move, four-star weak foot combo with 92 stamina, a very, very fun-looking card indeed, so I think I am probably going to unlock him and then maybe play him alongside the Bundesliga Cunha, which could be a fun little uh, which could be a fun little combination to get. But today, it is all about this 82 inform Christian Pulisic. Got this inform card for a hat-trick for Chelsea. Uh, Lampard doing absolute bits with Chelsea this season and I think they're playing a lot better than people expected and Pulisic is a big big reason why uh, they've had some uh, success recently obviously he had himself a hat trick in the last match now the real question is how does this card stack up versus 79? It's only a plus three. It's a plus three overall upgrade. He gets a 94 total in-game stat upgrade over his base card. And probably the probably the thing that's the weakest about this card is the fact that the sprint speed doesn't go up at all. We've we've noticed that with a couple of the informs, a couple of special cards. Um, for some informs, even though they get like plus three or plus four upgrades, the pace either goes up not at all or just goes up plus one. But the uh, the pace has not been upgraded, and then the acceleration has only gone up by plus one. So a very, very small upgrade there. But uh, he does get some significant upgrades. Again, plus uh, 94 total in-game stat upgrades that sees four stats go from yellow to green and then the most significant one at least from my opinion is the fact that his shooting his shot power goes from 77 to 83 so uh, uh, four star four star obviously we know that about Pulisic uh, he's got himself the left mid position obviously like I just said 94 acceleration 87 sprint speed we are going to put the sniper chem stall on him we're going to jack off that finishing all the way attacking positioning goes up to 84 uh, volleys obviously goes up the shot power is obviously a very important thing for us uh, because I do believe I have that belief that uh, the, the higher the shot power, the more beneficial a finishing stat is. So we get that finishing up to, I believe, 84, and then that goes up to 88. So 88 uh, finishing with 83 shot power, and then we get that uh, composure up to 75 as well. So that's not too bad. And then the real reason that this Pulisic card should excel on the pitch is the dribbling stats. 99 agility with the sniper chem style. He goes up to 92 balance, uh, and then also goes up to uh, 80 plus reactions, 90 ball control, and then 97 dribbling. So I'm expecting a dribbling masterclass from Christian Pulisic. He has 80 stamina, which is very nice, uh, and then 82 jumping, which was a little bit surprising as well. But like I said, most of the uh, most of the 94 total in games that upgrades are are factored into the shooting, passing, and dribbling. And then he gets a decent little physical upgrade as well. I believe he goes from uh, 58 to 61. Now the stamina is one of the stats that goes from yellow to green, and then also jumping goes from yellow to green. So it goes from 77 stamina up to 80, which is a nice little upgrade, and then 78 uh, jumping uh, to 82. So all in all, a nice almost a 100 total in game stat upgrade on his card. Doesn't see a whole lot of pace, but he's already fast enough. So so you could make that argument there. Would have liked to see him obviously maybe get like 88 or 89 sprint speed with a 95, 96 acceleration. Obviously a chem style can help with that, but uh, we're going to be playing him at striker. So 87 sprint speed for me. And then the 94 acceleration coupled with that 99 agility should work well enough. Now we had to, because he's Captain America, we had to, uh, we had to link him up with Hulk. One of you guys on Twitter said, Zway, we need a, we need a Captain America with Hulk episodia. Like I always say, boys, if this episode helps you figure out if you want to try him out, drop a like on the video, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. But let's go ahead, let's apply some squad fitness, and let's get into match number one with Captain America. It was a clear day at Al Jair. All right, that was uh, that was officially Christian Pulisic's first touch. Look 
Chris, there we go. Come on, boys. Gotta be patient. Beautiful little piece of, uh, beautiful little piece of play. And I gotta say, dude, Gabriel Jesus is, and I, I've wanted to do a player's way view on him. So this is going to be like, sort of like a dual purpose player's way view. Um, Gabriel Jesus, his dribbling stats for an 82 rated card. One of the most lethal in game, dude. He is, he is a hundred percent a difference maker. And I think he's got a trait on his card that, uh, that makes him do some animations that I haven't seen other strikers do. Like compared to Rashford, I'm not a big fan of Rashford. I know like Danny R9 loves him. I know a couple other guys live and die by Rashford, but he doesn't play as well for me, and it's always Gabriel, Je uh, Gabriel Jesus that lights it up. Oh, nice save. Pulisic gets himself his first goal, boys. Captain America, a nice little run through. He's almost dead, and he feels it. He feels a little bit sluggish. Uh, he is almost dead, but he lines up the shot, and he does a finesse right around the keeper. Perfect little piece of positioning. Maybe a little bit of sloppy tackling from my opponent, but a 2-0, what should be a 2-0 victory at the end of this uh, at the end of this first half. I feel like I've had this guy's number at the end of, at the end of the first match. I feel like I've, I've had this guy's number the entire um, throughout the entire match. Gotta say, dude, the combo of Koulibaly, like, the high-rated... Ooh, wow. Actually kind of love the no-call, to be honest. Match number one, we get ourselves a decent performance from the Mad Lad himself. We get ourselves a goal, and I believe an assist. So Gabriel Jesus gets himself an assist, Lucas Moura gets a goal, and then Pulisic provides the double goal contribution in the form of a goal late in the game to seal it, and then provided the assist to get things started uh, to win this match. Now, this wasn't the craziest opponent, 53% possession. Like, it's, it felt like it was a closer game than it actually was, but uh, felt like I was in control pretty much the entire match. But a very, very nice first match from Captain America. Uh, uh, so far, the only weakness I would say is, we're going to pay attention to this, but his stamina, he felt like he was really, really chugging late in the game. We're going to see if that's an issue in match number two as well. Oh my god! <laughs> what is bro? What? Okay, I swear my PlayStation is messed up. I think my PlayStation controller's scuffed, dude. Does it look like I'm skying it because like I'm doing a powered chip? There's something there's something going wrong with my controller. I don't know what it is. Now that was a thing of beauty. That was a thing of beauty between come on, hug it out. Come on, Brazil the Brazilian and USA connection. Let's go, boys. Come on. Beautiful little send from Christian Pulisic. Uh perfect weight on it, and then a perfect finish from uh, from Gabriel Jesus. Bro, Adama Traore is dominant. You shit! Yes, Chef, I am. Don't tell- No, that's not- You Musa are so Sissoko. shit, it's unbelievable. You're gonna tell me Musa Sissoko's gonna convert that? Okay. Oh, that's got to be in. Was that a good save or was, it, was that just a poor finish from, uh, was that just a poor finish from Pulisic? Bro, that's got to be in. That's the difference. You can't miss chances like that against a squad like this, bro. You come up against Nabamian, he's not missing those. chances oh, we can't miss those chances boys none of you working as a team where's the lamb sauce come on Lucas Mora go come on three two ten minutes left we got some time no sorry Gabriel Jesus get that body fade of dreams though Oh, 
against American. Gets himself the equalizer in the 86th minute, and what a finish between the legs. Go on and take a bow, son. Magic. Christian Pulisic gets the game winner in the 88th minute back-to-back -back goals. You gotta be kidding me, man. You couldn't script it. We were down 3-1. I thought it was over. Hulk with the body faint, and then just easy as he does it. And I don't know if that's something that's been... I don't know if that's like a new patch thing, but I don't score a lot of those low cross opportunities. Keep getting, Oh, let's go! Yes! Match number two and a resounding victory. Do we get a player... No, we don't get a... I don't think we got the Hattie. Jurgen Klopp gets made of the match. And he hugs it out with Bates. Come on! And, uh... Yeah, the boys can barely contain themselves. Defensively, we played horrible in the first half. And then we came back, and late in the game, we just got it done. And there they are. The main man, the main man himself, Alan, and Christian Pulisic heading off the pitch. What an absolute mad lad. If the, yo, if that is not a mad lad performance... Yo, for everything from that cross in to Gabriel Jesus, the beautiful, beautiful finish right there... Um, and then Christian Pulisic's two chances as well, man. What an absolute hero. 9.1 for Pulisic. Gets himself two goals and an, assi uh, and an assist. So he goes up to five goal contributions in two matches played. So you guys already know what it is. I've got the Infinity Gauntlet out. And I am going to give it, in terms of value, a three out of five. Uh, only reason being Premier League is filled with really, really good wingers. I'm, I'm thinking off the top of my head, Felipe Anderson goes for 11, 12,000 coins. And he's 83 rated compared to this 82 Christian Pulisic. Uh, I am thinking of Bernard's regular card. I know that's even an eight. Ryan Frazier, um, and then also who am I draw? Uh, Anthony Martial is the same rating as Philippe Anderson, also 83. So I think those are probably better options in terms of wingers. But this is a very, very good card, as you would have seen in the uh, as you would have seen those in those two games, obviously. And the finishing was something that actually surprised me. Very, very nice finishing from uh, from Christian Pulisic. Now on the pitch performance, I don't think there's any shadow of a doubt. I am going to give it a four out of five. I'm going to get a little bit more critical with my reviews. I'd love to give it a four and a half, but I'm going to give it a strong four out of five. Um, and uh, obviously five goal contributions in two matches played. There's not much more you can ask for from that. And there's really not much missing from this card. He's I There's like drilling going on, bro. There's literally drilling going on around me, bro. <laughs> what is going on? Beth Uncle Graham, I'm sorry. 82 Christian Pulisic episodia is in the books. I'm glad we got that documented. If if this has helped you, like I said, maybe incorporate a Christian Pulisic, maybe have a little bit of fun with this card in your squad. Drop a mad lad like on the video. Hopefully, like I said, this player's way of view has helped you out uh, in some way, shape, or form. But if you guys are new to the channel, like I always say, hit that subscribe button down below. We'll be grinding Div Rivals and the Chinese Super League SPC, the Chinese Super League League SPC on Mixer tonight over on the Mixer channel. Link will be in the description below. But uh, like I said, hopefully you guys have enjoyed and I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.